So question for you, LaShayla. What up? Do you have any fears? Anything you're fearful of in your life? Yes. Oh, I, do tell. <laughs> what are you? What are you fearful of, my love? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am fearful of not meeting expectations that I put on myself because I believe that God call calls or is calling me called and is calling me yep. to do a particular thing in the sports space, and I try to run from it, and it hmm. keeps coming back that's how I know that I'm being called so you're running from your calling and what are you are you fearful of failing are you fearful of um not meeting your own expectations because I know most times we are you and I are very much the same where we're competitive against ourselves like we're constantly trying to do better and not only that we're constantly telling ourselves that we're not good enough and that's the work that we've both been doing over time to flush that out and to kind of deal with that because yeah. I think we've now come to a place where we both say like, I am enough and I've we done are, enough. Yeah. Right. And I, I'm mm-hmm. glad to see you kind of evolve with that as well. But is the fear based on you not achieving or like, where do you think, where does it re- resonate with you the most? Um, It resonates with letting people down. Meaning if I try to help you, and I'm not successful in being able to help you. And I'm fearful on taking on a whole system. Like what yeah. I'm trying to do yeah. changes the system and disrupts a lot of stuff. And when you're a disruptor, a lot of the times you don't get to reap the benefits of the work that you've done. But you yeah. do know that the people following you um, will. And so it's like when you're called to do something, you have to know that like that sacrifice is necessary. And so it's scary. It's scary going into that, into that yeah. space and, and knowing that. So I think knowing and then not doing, yeah, which I've tried to run. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> well, knowing is the first step, right? Because yeah. you can't fix what you don't know or you can't fix what you don't acknowledge, I think, more importantly. Because yeah. I think most times we kind of know it's there, but we don't acknowledge it and accept it so that we can overcome it. So, mm-hmm. you know, I'll have to tell you guys a quick story, Tippers, because- my life has significantly changed with facing my fear. And I want everyone to understand that you can face your fear. You can overcome all things. So prior to my son being drafted in the NBA, I was extremely fearful of flying. Shay, I don't know if you remember that. Big time. Of course I remember. Major. So I was comforting you at the draft <laughs> because Mikhail got traded. Because you had to fly to Phoenix. That's right. You're, of course you were. I never forget that night. Um, but that's a whole nother story for a whole yeah, nother episode. A- but um, as a matter of fact, I think I talked about it. So you, you guys better go to the library and make sure you follow Tip in the Scales where you get your podcast. But, actually, yeah. Right? Um, the episode but, when your son came on. So. Exactly. But I was yeah. extremely fearful to the fact that prior to Mikhail being traded, I think I've flown twice in my whole life. Once when I took him to Disney World because I didn't want him to not have the Disney World experience. So I bought the, I kind of just dived in and said, you know what? I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm going to do this for Mikhail. And I did it. And he was young, probably like seven. Yeah. And then the next time I flew is when I got the job at the Sixers. Uh, we have, of course, NBA league meetings and it was in Vegas. They always have these meetings in Vegas. And I was like, oh my God, I went from flying once. And that was rough. And I tried to fly... After that, I just couldn't. I would get to the jet bridge, have a panic attack, and not, or buy a flight, show up to the airport, not get on. And I would not legit fly. And now, if I go into my American app, I think I have over 200, last year I had over 200,000 nautical miles. So that's crazy. Like I'm like the highest, whatever that is, executive plant, whatever it is on American Airlines, that's where I fly because most of my flights are to Phoenix and Um, America has a hub there. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but I say that to preface that folks who know me were like, who are you? They say that all the time. Like, who are you? I can't believe that you're actually flying right now because I've haven't flown. Like, but I did that because I'd won. I was like, going to let anything come between me and my child. So I feel like God was testing me like, oh, you don't want to trust me? I got something for that ass. I'm going to send mm-hmm. your kid all the way across the country and see what you're going to do. 
So yeah. <laughs> I literally got my butt on that plane and I've been flying ever since. And now at the, in the job that I'm in today requires me to do a heck of a lot of traveling and I fly a lot. So I, I share that story because if I can, someone who was had an imminent fear of flying, get over my fears, I would say to you that you can get over your fears as well. And what I don't want you to do is allow fears to hold you back because fear can be so crippling that it will prevent mm. you for, it, it will block your blessing and will prevent you for doing something that's amazing or something that could have taken your level, your life to the next level, but you let fear get in the way. So I'm here to tell you today is you got to crush that fear. And the way to crush that fear is to face that fear and mm. do whatever it is that you know that you can do to, to, to get you past whatever you're going through. So for you, my friend, my sister, my love, yeah. it's, you have to know that everything that you touch and do, you're amazing. Right. And you have to remind yourself. So when that fear, that doubt, that imposter syndrome starts to whisper in your ear and say, no, you have to say yes, because when was the last, you don't let people down. Like, that's just not who you are. You always been an overachiever. You always exceed your expectations. And that's what you have to remind yourself when that fear starts to kind of creep in and you know, if you fear, fear spiders, whatever it is, arachnophobia, whatever it is, you got to face. I'm not saying go dive into a bathtub with, with, with um, spiders. I'm just saying no, I that. I know what you mean. No. Don't allow that fear to overcome you and get in your way. You got to shut that yeah, shit down. I'm actually to that point, And thank you. I'm actually recognizing fear a lot more. And Good. what I'm doing is building a game plan for fear. Ooh. Instead of... Right. Instead of Love. just attacking it head on, I have to have a tactic. I have to know how I'm going to move if this happens or this happens. A strategy. A strategy. And so yeah. I think also attacking it head on is having a strategy to be able to attack and to yeah. also be able to tip the scale. And so. In your favor. <laughs> in, in my favor. And I, and I think that so. And I know on the other side of fear on the other side of that scale that I'm tipping. It's all the things that I've ever wanted or didn't know that I wanted. And so if you know mm -hmm. that, then it's easier also to just like say, yeah, F it and just go all in and whatever happens, you always learn something. And so, yeah, you're exactly right. Yeah. I, I mean, that. I love that. And shout out to you and your strategist at heart. So I can understand why you're like, okay, I got to have a whole strategy around how I'm going <laughs> to deal with this. That's so funny. My but towels, my stuff, all but that. But it works, right? <laughs> Yeah, um, another home. thing too is I was fearful of loving. Like I was afraid to get my heart broken. And yeah. I said, you know what? And Shay, you reminded me of that. Like, T, you gotta just you gotta dive in. Like you can't live your life without wanting to love. Like you gotta be vulnerable and let someone love. And guess what? If that doesn't work, brush yourself off and try again and yeah. again and, and again until lot. you get to a place. And now I still have some remnants of like, oh, you know, every time I remind myself, but at the end of the day, it's like, I'm going to jump in. I'm going to dive in. I'm going to offer up my heart, offer up myself. And then if things don't work out, I know that I tried. And if that and doesn't you won't let work, them get too far. And yeah. that's the thing is yeah. learning what fear feels like or learning what those things feel like yeah. so that you don't go past the signs. You don't go past things that are uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uncomfortable in a way that's not good for you, right? Yeah. Obviously, some, things, some uncomfortable things are good for you, but like, oh, that doesn't feel right. I'm not going any further. Like, <laughs> right? So it's just like yeah. learning those. So if you close yourself off, you're never going to be able to understand how to do that and have a strategy. So Yeah. So tippers, look, here's what I want you to do. I want you to check us out on social, whether it be Instagram or where, 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 wherever, what else will you use, Shay? Because this is normally what you call so, Well, Instagram uh, mainly. I haven't gotten around to okay. TikTok, but I will now, get there at some point. Okay. Um, but so here's what I want you to do. I want you to check us out on Insta. I mm -hmm. want you to tell us, what are you afraid of? What are some of your fears? And then I also want tippers to comment on how you can overcome your fears. Because many of us probably share the same fear. So let this be a 
platform, like for us, Tipping the Scales is this place where we can all cheer each other on. We can all help e- support each other, hold each other's hands to kind of get over any obstacle in our lives. So mm-hmm. I want you to go to Insta. I'm Tipping Tania Scales Rivers, Podcast. Tipping the Scale Podcast. Shay, mm-hmm. what's your personal handle? LaShayla. LaShayla. So you have so many different options, right? But <laughs> what we do want you to do is check us out. Let us know what you're fearful of. And then let us know if you did overcome your fear, what did you do? Again, like this is a community of learning, sharing, and overcoming things together. And for 2023, we are not going to allow fear to get in our fucking way and hold (laughs) us back from the things that we need to achieve in this year to be our very best. Right? Period. Period. (laughs) Point blank done. Period. (laughs) (laughs) Later, y'all. Thank you, guys. Keep Make sure you continue to follow Tim and the Scales wherever you get your podcast. Peace.